G'day, Andy here again for greenyflat.com.au So today I want to talk about my favourite subject which is passive solar design um, and I want to talk about how it works and how it can be applied in a retrofit situation. So I'm standing in front of the north wall of the greeny flat, so north is straight that way. Now the way passive solar design relies on the fact that in the middle of the day in the summertime, the sun is high in the sky, and in the wintertime, it's low in the sky. So what happens is, in the wintertime, that low sun comes in underneath the roof overhang, and shines in through these north-facing windows, and warms the house. And then in the summertime, when the sun's high in the sky, the eave that you can see up, up here, the solid part of the roof, blocks the sun, and it doesn't come into the house at all. So that helps to keep the house cool in the summertime. So at this point you might be wondering how we calculate what's the, the right amount of roof overhang. And the easiest way to explain that is to take, it, take you inside and show you on the computer. So here we are on the home page at greenyflat.com.au. Now if we scroll down here to passive solar design, this takes us to a page that has a bunch of links to information about passive solar design. Now if I click on correctly sizing the eave overhang and scroll down here you can see a couple of images of a 3D model that I built of the greeny flat while I was designing the building. I use a program called SketchUp which has this really good sun study feature built into it and you can see in the top image this is the the predicted shading of the north wall at the summer solstice and the bottom image is the predicted shading of the north wall at the winter solstice. Now using this program I can adjust the amount of eave overhang uh, to, to give the right amount of shading in the summer and the winter. And just out of interest I, I actually went out on the winter solstice at noon to, and took a picture of the actual building to see how accurate the SketchUp model was in predicting the sun and the shading and as you can see it was very accurate indeed. So if we go back to the passive solar design page and click on locating rooms and we can have a look at the floor plan of the building. Now all of this uh, passive solar design stuff is relatively easy when you've got a new building on a perfect site. What's much more difficult is being able to apply these same principles in a retrofit situation. So this is the floor plan of the cottage that we're renovating and this is the north wall here. And you can see that compared to the greeny flat there is much less north wall compared to the total amount of floor area. In fact this area here is about the size of the greeny flat. And so our opportunity for putting glazing on the north wall relative to the amount of floor area in the building is much less in this case. If we look at the building from the outside you'll see that this is the proposed amount of glass on the north wall and due to council restrictions as well as a limited amount of north wall we really aren't getting much glass compared to the amount of floor area in the building relative to the greeny flat that we saw before. So the question then is what do we do about it? Well I don't have time to go into the details this week but over the next couple of episodes I'll get into uh, the two kind of innovative things that we're planning to do on the north wall of this building. One is to turn this window into a mini tromb wall, uh, which I'll tell you more about soon. And the other thing is to use the space behind the corrugated cladding on the whole of this north wall as a solar air heater. And to collect the warm air from behind that cladding in the winter time when the sun's shining on it, and duct it through the attic and into the rooms on the south side of the building that don't get any sun. So stay tuned over the next couple of weeks and I'll give you more details about those things. And meanwhile, if you go to greenyflat.com.au and click on passive solar design, you can learn more about the details of, of how passive solar design works.